Solution, Andrew Check it out, I was thinking, right? You know how they say art imitates life. You know, so the art would be, you know, um, witchcraft is art. Crafts, you know what I'm saying? But it imitates life. You know what I'm saying? So life would be anything that's of God. You know, so Jesus' eyes are red like fire. In the demonic realm, the eyes are like, they're red, they're crimson red, you know what I'm saying, like blood red, um, uh, you know, uh, pretty much, you know, a replica, but on the demonic side, you know, um, even when it comes down to um, sacrifices in the Old Testament, you know, and how Satan made how they have these people, you know, doing sacrifices, whether they want fame or riches or whatever the case may be. You know, we already were told that these things are going to happen ahead of time. You know what I mean? And that's why we it's important imperative that we, you know, retain that information that the that the Bible and the Holy Spirit is telling us. You know. So when it comes to the art and potato life, like the movies, pandemic, um, uh, enemy of the state, Independence Day, you know, uh, I Robot, things like that, you know, I Am Legend, um, Truman Show, um, Bone Collector, things of that nature. So it imitates life. So when it comes down to a vampire, you know, a token dog, those things have to have to exist on a certain level. You know, so when you're able to see, when the, when the Holy Spirit reveals to you these things, to showing you that you're blessed, because you can see and hear these things, and maybe not at the same time, you know, you give a good, well-known feeling of who you are, you know, and that God is keeping you. So, um, with the upcoming signs of the second coming, so many, you know, the nuclear war, um, you know, um, the increasing um, threats or happenings that a nuclear war is about to go on. You see they over there in the South China Sea, understand what I mean? God is bringing them, you know what I'm saying? Just like you would call a dog, come here, you would call a dog, that's how God is calling them. And then it's going to go to the other kings over there in the east. They're going to bring them on the mountains, you know what I'm saying? But there's certain things that's supposed to happen. You know, all these natural disasters that's going on, over a hundred tornadoes ripped across the South America. Nowhere else America, right? All these volcanoes going on, you know, all these earthquakes. And then they saying, oh, well, we still got a big one. That ain't the big one. You know what I'm saying? So they know what's supposed to be going on, but they're listening to scientists. You know what I'm saying? You know, where else is the scientists getting their information from? It's plagiary. That's all it is. It's plagiary. They're getting the information out of the Bible, and they come and say, oh, yeah, that's how they write. That's how they write. You know what I'm saying? Okay, well, God is permitting information to be given to the scientists so it can be used to deceive the people who don't believe. You don't believe, well, you're, you're going to be deceived, you know. You're out here, you know, um, um, playing a dice game, and you don't know how to play, you don't understand the game, but you just go out there and play the dice, you're going to lose your money. Plain and simple, you know. So, you know, just like when they, like I say, art imitates life, right? You have the movies, you have the sitcoms, you know, you have the ratchetness on these TV shows, you know what I'm saying? And they can actually see us on the TV. You gotta look at the eyes, man. They can see us on the TV. You know, anyway, you know, you may not be able to see it, you know, but a person that's able to see it can see that they can see us through the TV. You know what I'm saying? Just like if um, I was to go on Instagram and go on somebody's live, they may not be able to see me. Smack did, which I think they do because as many times we have ad contact, you know, but they feel the presence of the Holy Spirit there. And some of them do not like it. Some of them see the light 
because the light is put on the hill for the world to see. So if you in, I'm in Chicago, I'm in Chicago, how is the world supposed to see me from China, Yugoslavia, Madagascar, Seattle, Los Angeles? How they be, how, how can they see me? You take a picture, bam, the spirit is there. I can look at one of my pictures and see, wait a minute, there's something there. I may not be able to see it clear as day. But our embassy's life, right? So when God says, um, you can say masquerade as if he's a being a light. So that means there's a different light there, right? So it's all about a person picking and choosing. Like, like uh, Superman, his eyes was red and it was like fire. You know, not like fire. They were crimson red, right? But when they, they were lasers, so it burned something. As if it was fire, like torches, right? And then when it came to whatever made him reap a uh, week, like that, um, what they call it, the um, kryptonite, right? The kryptonite was like green or purple or something, and it was like a crystal, and it made him weak. Just like on the Power Rangers. The Power Rangers, they had these different colors or whatever. But that green made them weak, and they, you know, they, you know, overacting and all that. You know what I'm saying? Same thing like with, with Media Man. Media Man had that. They all had that kryptonite. You know what I'm saying? Captain Planet. You know what I'm saying? With the powers combined. God said, if my, pe my if if people who are called to my name come together and humble themselves and pray for me, He gonna restore the land. As you see right now with the famines going on, you know, you got over 2 million chickens that's being slaughtered over there in uh, Maryland and other places over there on the East Coast. You know, just getting word from this rancher that's reputable, you know, they got meat coming from, cows coming from, um, from Ghana or somewhere like that, from Z Zambia. You know what I'm saying? Got meat coming from there. And it's not federal, it's not uh, FDA approved. And then even when the CDC came to a point of um, um, with the um, things to help out with the coronavirus, they let those drugs come through. They just told you, hey, you know, we didn't regulate that, you know, but we need that help. No, they don't need that help. They're keeping everything they need, just like a person that has money. You know what I'm saying? They go and bop a lot, all the water to a point they got to say three. The limit is three. But you know they're going to send other people in to get the three, get the three, you know, and they stock up and they sit back. And they still shop as if they don't have. They sitting back being able to jog around. How you able to still work out and do all this stuff? You, oh, okay. You one of the ones who have, right? Okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? But it's a time where that money going to be cut off. Was going to be nothing. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to set that mark of that beast. So those are going to be the tribulation saints. You know what I'm saying? Because the ones who believe now, going with Christ. You know what I'm saying? It's a done deal. You know what I'm saying? It's still time for a person to repent for their sins and all that. But when, after the day of the Lord comes, you're going to, going to be millions of people that's going to be gone. Maybe more than that. You know what I'm saying? Because he said there'll be two in the field and one will be taken. And the heavenly bodies will be burnt up in the air. So for if they say there is a such thing as cloning, you won't be able to clone that body. It's a heavenly body. It's going to get burnt in the air. You know what I'm saying? So when they, in a movie, or imitates life, right? In the movies where a person would just disappear, they didn't put it in a biblical sense. They got that idea from the Bible. Plot, scheme, all that from the Bible. You know what I'm saying? You read it front to back, certain points in the in the Bible that'll make you cry, that'll make you laugh, that'll make you say, whoa, God ain't playing. <laughs> you got to read it like it's a regular book. You know what I'm saying? That's all. You can read a gangster book. You can read a philosophy book. You know what I'm saying? And be like, wow, and get everything. But you just got to find the right um, version. And click on to it. 
it ain't hard to understand. You just make it hard. You know what I'm saying? Find the NIV. Forget what people saying, King James and all this or whatever. Just go back to the King James after you get an understanding of AMP, ESV, NIV, NLT, NSCRC. You know what I'm saying? Just get a down pack and go to what's the so-called original. Because the original Sanskrit is over there in, um, in the Vatican somewhere. So nobody has that. Because he said, whoever takes from this word, you know, he said, whoever takes from this word, his life will be taken from the book of life. And he said, whoever adds to the word, the players in Revelation will be added to that person. So I'm not saying that, you know, um, the script is a hundred and nothing's been taken out and nothing's been put in. No, because he said, whoever do that, it's a rap for him. You know what I'm saying? But those who believe now will be what they call rapture, but caught up on the day of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? And the ones who don't are going to have to suffer out through the last, like, um, last seven years. You know what I'm saying? So I got to get my game tight back on that. You know what I'm saying? I had it, but I lost it. But, um, yeah, man, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But, um, like the ratchetness on TV, the ungodliness. You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy. They have all this stuff going on on TV as a smoke screen to keep you from knowing what's going on elsewhere. You know what I'm saying? Look at the trees. All them trees ain't got leaves on it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like, what, the second week of May? And you ain't got leaves on the tree? But look at the, the trees that's been there because you got a lot of trees that they placed there. Like new trees or the small trees don't even got leaves on it. But the ones who's even been there for like five to ten years and got got little buds on there. But the trees that's been there over fifty years, they bud they got leaves on it all over the all over there. But how come a, t a tree that's been planted there for ten years, why is it not budding? I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about in my next video. I'm gonna go to the park and show you.